Hey, hey everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I am in a brand new community in Summerlin called Vertex by TriPoint Homes. This is a new townhome community in the Red Point Square Village. And they just recently opened up last weekend. They have four different floor plans to choose from. Today, we're gonna to take a tour of the plan two, which is 1824 square feet with three bedrooms and two and a half baths and a two car garage. Base price starting at 492,000. So in this floor plan, as you walk in, you have the beautiful floors and the tall high ceilings, which is really nice. This was all designed by Bobby Burke from the Queer Eye series, which is pretty cool. And this one, I like this floor plan the best, I do believe, because if you walk in, you have the large living room area and the beautiful oversized kitchen with the beautiful quartzite countertops. And I love this brown cabinets. It's like a lighter brown. Um, it's very popular and it looks good with like an aqua color as the backdrop, which is really nice. I can see that. Yeah. Now this has a community pool and park, which is very nice. The monthly HOA is $225 a month. 170 of that goes to Vertex, 55 of that to Summerlin West. So that's not too shabby. It is not gated. And the SIDS are $350 semi-annually. Each of these townhomes will have its own little private yard. So of course it's not gonna look like this because this is a model home and it's been upgraded to the nine. Um, but it looks like the plan two and the plan three are the two units on the end where the plan one is the middle unit. So it looks like this one has a bigger lot option compared to the other two. It just probably depends on where it's located as well. And so, like I said, or I don't even know if I mentioned this, they have a bunch of move and ready homes that will be available in November. All options have already been selected. So unfortunately you cannot choose any of the options. However, I would imagine it was selected by TriPoint design team. So I'm sure it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. And I would imagine that the downstairs would have either tile or luxury vinyl or engineered hardwood and the upstairs would be all carpeting. Um, so it has the three pendant lights. Most of these model homes have all the extra can lights. So I don't know, like this one doesn't have any. So that's interesting that they didn't put any in the great room area. Um, I like this pantry. It's a nice size pantry. They didn't go for the upgraded soft clothes. And this may be an upgraded appliance package. It looks like it because it's the cafe instead of the GE profile. This has the two basin sink and the nice appliances. The refrigerators and washer and dryer usually do not come when you buy a new construction home, just FYI, but your standard oven and all that stuff does. It comes with a half bath downstairs, beautifully designed, and then a garage as well. So we're going to go upstairs. Now these railing is update an upgrade. I came here because I thought it was dead and now there's tons of people. I don't like doing videos when there's people. <laughs> I had to start this one twice. But I like the high ceilings. I like this one the best, right? Is this your favorite one? This is my favorite. Yeah, because look at all these windows too. Let me see that paper. Yeah, yeah sure. Let's see. So the cabinets in the dining room is an option. Kitchen pantry cabinet is an upgrade. So this feels like this is the primary bedroom. No, I feel like this has two, doesn't it? No, this is a large bathroom. So they didn't upgrade the shower, but they're calling the primary bath shower as an upgrade with the insert. And then the black flat mat surround. The huge double vanity. I like these colors, more neutral instead of the gray tones. I feel like gray is out now. Beautiful quartz countertops. 
And this one has a custom closet. Don't expect the closet to look like this. It's just your traditional builder grade closet, but this is a decent sized closet. And that's interesting that the smart panel is in the primary bedroom. So what else? They also have a Plan 2X, which is slightly bigger um, than this one. But the funny thing is that the base price is slightly cheaper. So that's interesting. Um, what else? Primary bath shower, primary bath door. So this is an upgraded option right here. Normally, in most model homes, don't come with the door. So this is a nice upgraded feature, I think. Um, the double sink, sometimes in the secondary bathroom, they don't provide two sinks. This is the laundry room right here. And if you want cabinets, that would be an upgrade. So the question is, though, is what was selected on these standing inventory homes? And then here is, this one's very dark. The double vanity. I don't like this color. It makes it just seem smaller. And the generic tub shower insert. But the two sinks is extra. Then you have this bedroom, which is pretty cool that they made it into a nice little exercise room. I like the architectural design, you know, the paint, mm -hmm. the arches. Yeah. Okay. So this is a nice size room. This is a very good size room. And it has a decent size walk-in closet. So yeah, I think this is my favorite floor plan. I mean, actually, you can't go wrong with either of them. To, so to summarize, this is the um, plan two with 1824 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and two car garage, base price starting at 492. If you're interested in buying, I am your new home sales expert in Summerlin. I sell a lot of new construction in Summerlin. You can reach out to me at 702-370-5112. But most importantly, let me know what you think about this new floor plan in these townhomes here in Summerlin. But also make sure you hit that like, you know, like and subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.